minus twice row three's value. Now row three's value is a minus 30, 139. So minus times minus is going to give us a plus, and two times 139 gives us two 39 okay? What goes in here is row two's current value minus twice row three's current value. So that's going to be row two's current value, which is a one, minus two times 11 39ths, okay? And that's going to give us a value of 17, 17 39ths, okay? What goes in here is row two's current value, okay? Row two's current value, okay? Minus twice row three's value. The row two's current value is a zero, and we need to take away twice this here. So actually, minus times a positive number gives us a negative number. Two times the two gives us a four. So we end up with four 39s here. Okay? So this is what our new matrix now looks like. So I can move that over here. So now we're nearly there. Okay? What I need to do is I need to convert this. It's everything above this pivot now needs to be converted into a zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work off this minus five eighths. I'm going to convert that to a zero. How would I do that? Well, if I multiplied row three by 5 eighths, and if I added that to this, that would become a zero. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to say row one is going to be row one's current value plus 5 eighths times row three's value. Okay. So if I do this, the only thing that's changing is row two. So everything else remains the same. So it's zero, one, zero. It's two twenty ninths. It's seventeen twenty ninths. It's minus four twenty ninths. Okay. Row 3 is 0, 0, 1, minus 1 ninth, 11 ninths, 2 ninths, and row 1 becomes row 1's values plus 5 eighths of row 3. So there's row 1, row 2, row 3. So row 1's value is 1, and I need to add on to a 5 eighths of row 3's value. Okay? So I need to add on 1 plus 5 eighths of 0, just gives us a 1. Okay. Uh, row 1's current value is minus 3 eighths, and I need to add on 5 eighths of row 3's value. Now 5 eighths of row 3's value is a 0. Okay. 5 eighths of 0 is 0. So I have minus 3 eighths plus the 0 gives us minus 3 eighths. Okay. The value that goes in here, okay, the third entry on row 1, is going to be the third entry on row 1 plus 5 eighths of the third entry on row 3. 5 eighths of this 1 is 5 eighths. When I add that onto the negative 5 eighths, I get 0. Okay. What's going to go in here is row 1's current value, which is 1 eighth, okay, plus 5 eighths of row 3's current value, which is minus 1 ninth. So let's do that in the calculator. So I have row, row, I'm going to have row 1's current value, which is 1 eighth, so it's 1 divided by 8, okay, okay, plus it's going to be 5 divided by 8 times row 3's value, okay, which is a minus... 1 divided by 39, okay, which is going to give us a value of 17, 156. So that's 17, 156. Let's go here, okay. Getting a little bit complicated, but this is all going to, this is all going to, this is all going to, uh, this is all going to work out perfectly fine. We're doing well here. The next value to go in here, okay, is row 1's current value, which is 0, plus 5 eighths of row 3's current value, which is 11 ninths. So we have 0 plus 5 eighths of 11 ninths. It's just going to be 5 eighths of 11 ninths. So let's do that. So I have 5 divided by 8 gives me my 5 eighths. And I need to multiply that by 11 ninths. 11 divided by 29, okay? It's going to give us a value of 55 312s. So this, this gives us 55 312s, okay? So 55, 312s. Uh, I'm just wondering, did I did I make a mistake here with these two zeros here? Okay. Uh, the operation here should have been row two minus twice row three. Okay. So row two minus so row two minus twice row three. Sorry, no, no. Actually, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's going to go in here? It's going to be row 1's current value, which is 0, plus 5 eighths of 2 ninths. So that's actually a 0 plus 5 eighths of this. So it's going to just be 5 divided by 8 times 2 ninths. 2 divided by 29, okay? Which gives us a value of, 
which gives a value of 5 156s. So that gives us 5 156s. Okay. Now, <coughs> excuse me. We're nearly there. We've nearly converted this matrix into the identity matrix. There's one last operation to do, which is to convert this minus 3 8 into a 0. Okay. Because everything above the leading diagonal needs to be zeros, and everything below the leading diagonal needs to be zeros. So how would I do that? Well, actually, if I multiply this 1 here by 3 8 and add it on to this row here, that will change to a 0. And nothing else on this will be affected because we have zeros here. So what I'm going to say is this, is that row 1 becomes okay, row 1's current values okay, plus 3 8 okay, of row 1's values. Okay? So let's see what's going to happen. So the only thing that's changing is row 1. So row 2 remains the same. 0, 1, 0. Uh, row 2, 39. 17, 39. And minus 4, 